Hello. I wanted to bring you some information about how you can learn to identify plants and how to use those plants to your advantage. Now, I had bought these books here at Tractor Supply, TSC. It's our local farm store. And I cannot recommend this book. It, it did not cover very much. It was not well written. This book, Backyard Medicine, was very good. It gave the plants and it gave how to utilize the plants to make salves and tinctures. And it also told what part of the plant to use, like leaves or blossoms or roots. This is a magazine that I just picked up somewhere. It gave a lot of good information such as saffron and postpartum depression. There was a lot of really good information in this book on several different subjects. This book has been my Bible since 1997 as far as how to utilize plants to heal. The book has everything from amino acids and vitamins and minerals, how to use those to aid ailments, plus the different plants and what chemicals and vitamins and components that the plants have in order for you to be able to use those to your benefit. So this is one I would recommend for everyone in the whole entire world to have. And there are even newer updates, but this is my good tried and true one, so I keep it. Now, the Foxfire books here are very important because they tell the tale of our culture, of handing down the knowledge, the folklore that comes with living off the land and utilizing the plants for our benefit. When our forefathers came to a foreign land and did not know how to survive, they had to learn the hard way. Uh, trial and error and observation and experience. And many times uh, they had very hard lives. So they passed that knowledge down generationally. And it was verbal passing down. So these people lived remotely and Foxfire book tells of people who lived in the Appalachia Mountains. These people were interviewed in the late 60s, early 70s and the stories are just, are just phenomenal to hear these people who have never been out of a holler and who have lived in a shack basically and hauled their water and how they have survived and they have flourished and they have never been sick because they lived off of the plants off of the land so uh, I can give an example of why it's important to carry on these verbal histories and to understand the folklore behind it because the observations that they made about a plant called poke salad or pokeweed. Um, it's a toxic plant, but in the days when people often didn't have shoes and often had intestinal parasites, the pokeweed, the toxins in it, actually rid the intestinal parasites out of the body. and people learned that. Now they learned the hard way that you needed to rinse the plant several times while cooking in order to make it safe to eat. But then it could be beneficial to rid you of intestinal parasites. Now when my daughter was giving a lecture about herbal medicine, she touched on the subject of the pokeweed and was telling that it was a toxic plant and a woman sitting next to me was telling 
that she just boils it and serves it. Now, that is where her knowledge was lost and was not passed down accurately. And so she was endangering her life and her family's life because the knowledge was not passed down correctly. So, for the record, I don't eat poke salad because it's nasty and it's slimy. And you couldn't pay me enough money to, well, you could probably pay me enough theoretically, but I wouldn't like it, not one second. So, Foxfire books tell of the history of passing down the knowledge of living off the land and utilizing the plants for healing. Now, I got this book for my daughter and she has recommended it then to me as I have begun foraging more and doing more in collecting the plants now and doing these videos. Peterson Field Guides, there are dozens of them. Let, let me see if, let me find that page where, okay. This page right here is all of the Peterson Field Guides. Now you can get these through Amazon and that's what I did. But this is the one that I used to identify the difference between the Cereola and the Varosa plant. It was clear, it was concise, it gave details for the plant. So there was no argument for me anymore. Also an agriculture extension agent verified for me that as well. But these Peterson guides are wonderful. So those of you who do not live near me, uh, these guides cover the northeast, the northwest, the southwest, all over the country. So I would recommend that you get this if you want to identify plants yourself. So also keep notes. Where's my notebook? Now in my wandering and where I want to do these videos accurately, I have been keeping notes so that I know what is important to share with you uh, when I try a plant that I have not tried before. I write that down, I log it down. If you're using something you have not used before, start slow, start small. Now, these here are the ones that I recommend to anyone to use. So I hope that's helpful. This is our history. This is our present. So have a good evening and remember to eat the wild things. Goodbye.